Hi guys, it's Shishkabobber1 coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Wow, boom sucker. We are here at season 10 on Warships into, into day two already. Been super busy with the launch and the sneak peeks and all that junk and trying to formulate my thoughts and what best to tell you guys for this first video. And I figured it out. Um, I'll save the juicy details for a little bit, but let's talk about this season and what's new, what to expect, and the tech tree, and then we'll jump into some live gameplay here on my mini bobber account. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump into the tech tree. Now, we've covered this all in the review guide uh, that was on uh, OP's, uh, OP Destroy's channel. Uh, hopefully you guys know who he is. Um, and uh, I'm playing two accounts, of course, as always, uh, with Shishkabobber and Minibobber. Um, Minibobber is basically taking the shortest tech route to get to the end by by taking the top basically he's picking up heavies um so what we've done here is uh we, we haven't put anything in gunboat because who needs a gunboat gbe is a band-aid guys um and uh we're coming through we're just trying to maximize our way through this tree there's a really important point for why we need to do this and this is actually i'll just drop the bomb right now this is what everyone needs to figure out there was in my opinion a very big miscalculation on supercell's part um, this season was originally scheduled to be 35 days, as we told you guys, as we confirmed to you guys, as you guys saw in the dev build sneak peek. What you also saw in the dev build sneak peeks was the amount of loot that each chest contained, alright? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The amount of loot that are in each one of these chests right here is the exact same that was in the dev build, but there was a change that happened before this thing went live. They cut the season by a week. It was a 28 day season, not a 35 day season. They did not update the chest loot accordingly, at least not according to my math. And as a result, if you try to calculate your expected keys, and just do a key calculation, if you try to calculate the expected keys that you need to get all the way to the end of the tree, you're gonna find that you're in really big trouble. Um, so I can't really give you exact mathematics, but it really depends on the way that you guys choose to go through this tree. This tree, just like the previous tree, they're, they're both really awesome. They provide a lot of really good, interesting choices to make. Um, anyone that tells you that they know what the best solution is right now, they're, they're full of it, okay? Nobody knows. Unless you can predict defensive metas, you have no freaking idea, all right? Let's put that out there right now, because a lot of people going around saying they know this, they know that. <laughs> when I hear that, it just tells me that they know nothing. That's, that's a fact. Um, and, uh... So the point is, I'm not going to tell you what's the, what the best meta is. I'll give you some pointers and insights into what I think is good and not. But that, that one being important is you need to get your butt to the end of the tree ASAP and more than ever. All right. And if you spend your time dilly dallying around back here and picking up a bunch of junk that doesn't help you go forward, you'll never make it. And especially because the, uh, the amount of loot that we're getting in the chest is not balanced. OK, that's a fact, guys. It's called logic. Look it up. Do some math, all right? And I highly encourage everyone to do that because if you, if you plan to get heavy choppers and if you plan to get the 7th ER, you better make sure you got enough keys. You better make sure you're in a high enough rank to do that because quite frankly, you won't be. As it is right now where I'm at, if I want to get all the way to the end of the tree with the shortest tech path available, I will need to have 30 days, guys, 30 days in the um, diamond tier just to get there. And that's me sitting at, well, I was kind of at gold, but I'm not quite there right now. We'll get back there. But that's me sitting at a rank 15 chest. No, rank 16. I've unlocked a rank 16 chest already. And it would take 30 days in diamond from last night, actually, to get me all the way to the end. That, that's a big mistake, as far as I can tell. Unless they planned it that way, but it certainly doesn't seem like it, okay? So that's, that's, that's the bomb. I'll just let you know right now. That's the bomb, guys. So if you're, if, you're, if you're trying to figure out, oh, I want to get this and that and this and that, but you're not going forward, you're not going to make it anywhere in this season, okay? So figure it out. Now, we're a mini bobbers count, so I keep going back and forth. Um, what I want to tell you about with that in mind is we've taken the shortest path possible while utilizing heavies. On Shishkabobber, I've come down and picked up like brick and troop damage and I'm taking the bottom route. The bottom route is actually eight keys shorter to reach the fourth ER than the top route. But either way, featuring the top route because right now the top route is a bit more effective than the bottom route. The bottom route will be effective, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure of it. Oh well, pretty sure of it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, and uh, we just have faith. But then again, that's why it's good to have two accounts and also have diversity of meta because you can do two different things. If you put all your eggs in one basket and you drop that basket, guess what happens to your eggs, okay? That's why diversity matters, ladies and gentlemen. Um, anyway, I think I've made my points and I think you know who I'm talking to. Um, now, here we go. So, Mini Bobber's account, I get, well, again, highlight the stuff, right? We've got Max Mortars, okay? Max Mortars, I find, are very important because we need Splash. Why do we need Splash? Because Riflemen are really, really gross right now in the 3ER meta. They can be. Everyone's really focused on Heavy Rushing, but Heavy Rushing has a quick expiration date, guaranteed. I will guarantee that. 
And um, rifles are gonna be important even later, especially when you unlock Kavan, which, oh, by the way, I did last night. Why? Because I didn't spend any time picking up junk back here. Um, I didn't spend any time picking up flamethrowers. I didn't spend any time picking up mines. I still hit rank 16. That was not necessary to do it. Um, what really matters though is getting the diamond guys, because if you look at the way the chests go um, and the loot, well, can't show you that. Um, the iron loot is 13 keys, right? Gold loot over here is 14 keys. Not a big difference. The difference, ladies and gentlemen, comes when you hit the diamond. That's 17 keys. Much bigger difference, and there's a lot more tokens. 340k versus the 270. Since the difference is 70k between those chests, and uh, over here we got 245. It's only a difference of 25k. There's a much bigger leap in tech, both in terms of keys and upgrade tokens, when you reach diamond. So once again, like the last couple of seasons, it's all about getting to diamond as soon as possible. So the choices you make in your tree should, and your planning, planning is very important in warships, guys. You should be thinking about what effective tech can I get to help me get to diamond? When will that chest come, come to give me that effective tech? And will I be available to push? If all those things are aligned, that's the path you need to take, okay? If you're, if you're there to get the effective tech and you've got the time to push it, push it to get those stars you need to get into diamond because that's where it's all about. Either way, when you get into diamond, I'm telling you guys, unless you're like popping your way into legendary or something, you're not making it to the end of the tree. It's just not gonna happen. They they chopped off a week of this season and they absolutely forgot to update the chest. That's my calculations. I could be wrong. Supercell hasn't said this. It's just me saying it. But that's exactly what I see. That's exactly what the math shows. And big shout out to um, our good friend, Amy Sugar, as you guys know her. Uh, she ran the numbers on this. We were all kind of conspiring. Uh, Let's see, uh, Angry Bob Ross, uh, Amy Chan, and, and myself, Shish Kebabber, three of us were conspiring and uh, putting our heads together, and she ran the numbers. She found it first, and I'm here to report it to you. Um, so once again, big shout out, Amy. Um, and uh, everybody needs to know this. So uh, on this account, though, uh, like I'm saying, like I'm saying, guys, we've gone the top route. We picked up heavies. We picked up um, boom, um, no, normal cannons. Uh, we need something that hits hard on single point. The mortars are great because, again, riflemen run everywhere. You need to kill them with something. We've got our troop health because stats are important. We have missed troop damage, which I believe is a big, big mistake, but we're going to take it this way because this season is all about damage and rushing. Okay, you're going to need it, but we're, we're, we can't look back. We're just going forward, okay? all right? Again, two accounts. <laughs> on my main account, I didn't miss it. Uh, on Shish Kebabber, I've got both troop health and I've got both troop damage. And I've got troop damage, plus I got brick. So I believe he's in a better position for the long haul. You guys have to think about the long haul. If you get caught up on the short term, you're missing the big picture. And if you haven't learned that by now in more ships, what the heck have you been doing? And you really should have learned that back in the last season, okay? Because we saw that. We saw that as soon as people reached the end of the tree and everybody had max tech, so to speak, things became a lot more even. People weren't getting advantaged or taken advantage of by people that out tech them because all of a sudden everyone was on even grounds. Well, this season, it should have been that way by design. The tech tree looks the same and it would have been that way had we had that extra week, but it's not. So you really, really need to get to the end of the tree because honestly the stuff that's down here is a heck of a lot better than the stuff that's over here the only question is what stuff do you need over here in order to get your rank up okay that, that's the tricky part and i don't have an exact science on that for you but i'm telling you one way or another as you keep marching your way down this tree all of the nodes over here are way more important than the nodes over here more or less so keep that in mind when you're doing your planning guys now, like I told you, we picked up Kavan, we've got rifles, we've got heavies, and we've got a rank four Kavan. Um, let's just jump into a match, right? Let's see how let's see how this meta works. I do have shock mines. They're all nicely hidden, of course. Basically, everywhere I can hide a shock mine, we've got one hidden. Um, you know, this base design is not the best, not the worst. Um, it, it's holding up so far. Uh, take a quick look at the log. Probably kind of bad. Yeah, I went on a Chinese streak. I think it was in a Chinese feeding frenzy earlier when they uh, woke up to get their, their rank chest a while ago. Um, but let's do it. Let's jump into it. Now, I'm, I'm hoping to collect these in gold, but it's not a big deal if I don't. Alrighty. Finding opponent. But as always, let me know in the comments below, and I've said a lot already. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this season, what path you're planning to take. And again, guys, there's no right answer. Nobody knows yet. If you think you know, you're kidding yourself. But there are certain, certainly key points <laughs> that, that we can all agree on as we move forward. And we should all work together as a uh, community and not try to stifle other people's opinions um, when you're just so sure of your own, because that's just wrong, all right? Just keep that in mind. You guys know who I'm talking about. Um, all right, now, anyway, what do we see here? We've got question mark, question mark, question mark. I think I played them a few times. And uh, we got two ERs on the right, kind of doing a little like snaky thing. He like wants me to delay drop, which is probably going to cost me some time. 
So uh, we're running a 2.6 heavy rifle with Kavan and Second Wind at rank 6. What I need to do is clear out the, the tail of the snake and then we need to drop our troops on the ramp such that they will make it to the cannon. Doing a quick arc summary, I know that I'll need to clear it to this cannon and this sniper tower right here and right here before I can do my second drop. Let's go. Uh, one heavy, one, two, three uh, Johnsons. I will drop Kavan because he will supply the rest. Go ahead and do one second win right now. Got to keep my face in frame here for you guys. Now, again, we need to clear till about this cannon, I think, and then I can do my second drop. I will probably not win this, okay? Uh, my effectiveness will happen more as I advance forward, especially when I unlock the uh, fourth ER before a lot of other people do. Okay, here we go. Let's go heavy, and then all the Johnsons up here. I know that by the time they get there, that's, that's going to be down. I'll go ahead and do another second win just to get things popping. We have rank four flares. Otherwise, I would do a high flare right now, but we were doing heavy rushing earlier, so I don't want to do that because we could have done the split drop option on this as well. I'll uh, do another second win because I like where Kavon's position is up because he's up high. It'll get more positions on this. I do want to uh, sacrifice one shock to help this push over here. Go ahead and shock right now. We can save this final shock for the, for the uh, final... Um, rush if we even need to. But I think the timing of this will work out in such a way that we won't have to actually rush it. Um, and again, probably not the best time. This this base is a trickier one for me to get down and uh, in terms of a good time. But it'll go down nonetheless. Boom, just like that. Just like that, we're gonna lose some more stars though, I'm sure, in the process. Destroyer. I'm sure you destroyed me, sir. Not by too much, but you definitely did. Let's take a look at what Destroyer did. Probably a, I don't know, Brick rifle thing? Nope. Heavies, heavies, heavies with rifles. Oh, and Kavan. Yeah, okay, so more people are using Kavan now. That's a new meta I haven't really designed my base to counteract. And this is exactly the type of drop I would be doing. In these situations, though, I feel like he he actually could have put more troops on the left side. The reason why is because you've got Kavan to reinforce on the right. So I, the side that has one ER, I like to call the light side. And the side that has two ERs, I call the heavy side. And really, you want to drop more of your boat troops on the light side and less on the heavy side because Kavan will send those troops on the heavy side for you. Okay, that's the basic idea. But good job, sir. And as you can see, the metas are changing rapidly as we advance down the tree. Uh, anyway, I think we see what's going on. It was single time. Should have done double time. And uh, we're wasting time, aren't we? Let's just jump into another one. I'm not going to come on here and tell you, look, I'm going to just show you how to win and destroy everybody all the time. No, because winning right now doesn't necessarily mean you win in the end. Keep that in mind. Anyone that forgets that just really forgets how this whole game works. Um, all right, here we go. This guy's got a bunch of front-loaded mortars. We can kind of just fan drop everybody and just let Kavan run amok. Again, the heavy side, so to speak, is on the right because we got two ERs and the light side is left. So we're going to actually bias our troops to have more on the left and less on the right, but we'll make sure that Kavan is on the right, okay? Um, I like to run 2-6 because we just don't need that many heavies and Kavan can still get them rocking. Now these mortars can be problems for our rifle, so we want to make sure they're distracted by the heavies. Let's do it. Heavy, heavy. One, two, three, four, and one and two. Let's get Kavan going out right now. And I'm going to make sure that I shock the, uh, the light side because I do not want to lose those. Go ahead and do a second wind where Kavan's on the far right. And we'll do a second second wind as soon as we get that GBE. There it is. Again, I might sacrifice another shock because we will not be doing a Hail Mary on this. And um, let's see. Let's do it because there's a bunch of splash. Ooh, it was a little bit shallow. I wanted to hit that other flamethrower, but it wouldn't matter. Oh, Kavan totally went left. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. That is not where you need to be. So I need to save my shocks. We will be doing a rush. There's a lot of nasty mines we're coming into. Um, go ahead and do a second win, but it's completely on the opposite side from where we need to be going. And um, we will be getting some distraction. Let's just go ahead and wait for our troops to naturally advance, and then we'll do the final Hail, Hail Mary. Hail Mary with a shock on the splash. All right, there we go. That's the basic idea, all right? That one went a little haywire because, well, A, I haven't practiced it that much, and B, Kevon just sometimes does what he likes to do. So we'll jump into one more match and then wrap it up as soon as the game likes to... Uh, Likes to catch up with us. Yeah, well, while we're doing that, you can check out my lovely, uh, how we do this here. My lovely gardening. See this, see this? We got plants, we got fun stuff. It's what you do in the COVID times. Hey, let's, let's spectate. What happened to our friend over here? Was this a busted heavy rush? I think it was. Oh, are you serious? You're going to make us wait for this, bro? All right. You're requiring me to edit. This guy, 
you're on my people I don't like list because I'm not going to make my viewers sit through all of this. Oh, hey, we're back. Oh, all right. Um, so, somehow my face cam got moved too. So let's just see what happened to this guy. All right. Oh, he, le he left two up. Yeah, imagine that. Oh, and he took all the time. Thank you for wasting my entire time, sir. You know, if you're going to do that kind of stuff, guys, make sure you have the DPS. Otherwise, it's just rude. All right. Um, but here you go. This is just rifle. Uh, <laughs> I feel sorry for the guy. This is the same thing Shishka Barber does, except I would actually retreat. Uh, he was running a brick and all rifles and uh, just thought he could get away with something special, but he couldn't. So, yeah, nice try, but not going to work. Let's jump into one more, ladies and gentlemen. But again, please keep in mind the plan for the long term this season. Cannot stress it enough, all right? It's not, it's not a sprint, guys. It's a marathon. And this marathon just changed the distance. You need to change your pace appropriately. If you don't recognize that, you're not seeing the big picture. And when, when people like to stifle people like myself to tell them that, well, you know, there's only so much I can do. All right. Here we go. So, this is, again, going to be another weird one. Um, I want to do something crazy, something I haven't even tried. We're just going to kind of flare all of our troops up to around this region right in here. And uh, just let them go loose. Yeah. And I could maybe do a little delay drop down here with another boat of heavies and uh, Johnson or two. Yeah, sounds good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I want to do, I'll just drop this heavy and then boats one through four. All right, here we go. Heavy, one, two, three, four with Kavan. Flare them up. Let's get them up to this mortar. Okay. Kavan might take a hit from the sniper. Don't really care. A few mines in the way. Again, don't really care. Okay, it gives Kavan stuff to heal anyway, which keeps him moving, which we do like. Mortar's raining down. That's fine. Second wind. And second wind. Oh, not quite. There it is, second wind. Weird, it was grayed out. Anyway, um, let's do that delay drop now. Yeah, the flare has expired. Heavy, Johnson, Johnson. Yeah, not, not having any artillery or anything to destroy those mines can be a bit problematic. That's why the heavies are really important. But now we're just sweeping across the entire base. With the delay drop from the bottom, we should really cut into that lower corner more quickly, and hopefully we'll finish on the top at around the same time we finish on the bottom. Let's go ahead and shock that splash that's killing our Johnsons over there. I tried to do it. Let's do it again. Stupid cell phone, guys. If you guys saw my last stream, you saw how much trouble I was having with this thing. Um, yeah, like I said, it was the top that we're going to be waiting on, but it'll go down. But still, not the best time. Oh, but the opponent retreated, so boom, Asaka. We won. Who did we, who did we beat? Who did we beat? We beat that guy. Let's see what that guy did. In double time, of course. Oh, heavy rush. Yeah, this is a very anti-heavy rush base. Why? Because everybody and their mother was preaching the virtues of heavy rush. But we got mines hidden everywhere, my friend. And believe me, they're in nasty spots. And I got nasty things to take advantage of that while you get trapped. Yeah, yeah, fizzle dizzle, my nizzle. And that will be the end of it. We don't need to see what happens because we already know. So, please let me know in the comments below what you think about what I've told you in this video. And as always, remember, have a super fantastic, awesome rest of your day. And remember, be kind to others. Because if you're not, you're just being mean and mean people suck. Have a great day.